Well, hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Talking Trees with Lee. My name is Lee Rumble, your local Knox County Extension agent and ISA certified arborist. Today, I would like to bring up a topic that I see quite regularly, and that is surface roots on our landscape trees. Now, surface roots are simply those roots that exist right at the soil surface. Now, these roots may vary in size, but no matter their size, it's fairly safe for us to say that these roots can certainly cause some disruption when we're mowing the lawn, and they can even become trip hazards in the landscape as well. Now, many different species are prone to problematic surface roots. Of course, we see the greatest issues with our maple trees, sycamore, willow oaks, black walnut, bald cypress, and dawn redwoods, just to name a few. But other species are certainly prone to developing these surface roots as well particularly in soils that are heavily compacted. They may stay saturated a long periods of time or simply as a result of erosion on our steeper hillsides. It has been a long held belief that trees roots extend way deep down into our native soils, but in reality, this just is not the case. Most tree roots exist in the upper 12 inches of the soil profile. Now due to this, much like a tree's trunk and the way it increases in girth each year, so do our surface roots. Now when these roots are shallow rooted, naturally as they enlarge, they ultimately will come up to the surface over time as we have here. Once exposed, we often see problems begin as regular lawn mowing and stream trimming will damage these exposed roots. No different than an injury on the trunk. Following these injuries, we see decay form in the upper portion of the root. From there, the elements, particularly rain and snow, tend to fill these decayed pockets with standing water, further expediting rot within these individual roots. Over longer periods of time, some of these roots may even be lost entirely to this decay. So what's the best plan to take to prevent surface roots? Well, I'm a big fan of large mulch beds that extend all the way out to the drip line of our landscape trees. The best option when planting a new tree is to certainly go ahead and plan for that mature canopy and the possibility of surface roots. Make your planter bed larger than needed to allow for those roots to extend all the way out into that nice high quality mulch bed. This will not only reduce the chances of surface roots coming to the surface, it will also provide all the benefits that our mulches provide to our trees. But more importantly, a large mulch bed will help to keep mowers and string trimmers out and away from the tree's really important root zone. On mature trees with large surface roots, similar to this, you certainly do not want to prune off the surface roots. I get a lot of questions about whether or not I should just cut off the roots. Certainly we don't suggest this. This could seriously damage the tree or lead to structural instability. Any attempts to add soil and grass seed to the area will usually fail within a few years as a result of these roots continuing to increase in girth, ultimately coming back up to the soil surface. Instead, I would encourage you to go ahead and find the furthest exposed root and extend your mulch bed all the way out to that longest surface root. Ideally, if you can, go ahead and take the mulch bed all the way out to the drip line if this is possible. Not only will this reduce the chances of you seeing any visible surface roots, again, that mature tree will greatly benefit from the resulting mulch. Should you have any further questions or need help in deciding which particular mulch may be best for your tree, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will be happy to help. Thank you all for watching again today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. 